Hi guys, uh, today's topic is how to download and install an eSIM on your mobile phone. Now I know this is a very specific topic and the way you install an eSIM on a mobile phone depends on which device manufacturer you're using. For example, if you're using an iPhone versus an Android phone, the way you install an eSIM will be different. But in this video, we will look at the general process for getting your eSIM and then we will look at exactly how to install on various mobile phones. Now, in case you don't know what an eSIM is, eSIM stands for Embedded SIM, and basically it is a SIM where the hardware for the SIM is built into your mobile phone, and all you then have to do is to get a QR code for the software from your mobile operator, and then you download your eSIM on the phone and basically program the already built hardware. So the first thing you have to do for an eSIM is that you download the SIM on your phone and then you go through a process to install the SIM on your phone. The first step towards getting an eSIM is for you to check with your mobile operator whether they have eSIM or not. For example, mobile operators in the UK have a SIM swap program where you can replace your physical SIM with an eSIM. Once you know that your mobile operator provides eSIM, then what you have to do is to either contact them directly or go to your My Account page and then look for the options where you have the SIM card services. For example, if you are a Vodafone UK customer, all you have to do is to go to My Vodafone app or website and then look for your SIM services under your phone number. If you have multiple SIMs from your mobile operator, then what you first have to do is to locate the SIM for which you want an eSIM and then just continue with the process. If for whatever reason your mobile operator does not support this service online, then you can contact them directly and uh, talk to the customer services. Now, whether you do it online or by speaking to the customer services, as soon as you start the SIM swap process, your physical SIM will become inactive. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to worry about anything. All you have to do is to wait for your mobile operator to send you the QR code for your eSIM. Now, the lead times may depend on your service provider, but usually a mobile operator is able to send a PDF file containing the QR code by email. Now, it may be that you're not trying to swap your physical SIM with an eSIM, but you're trying to buy a new SIM card, which is an eSIM. In that case, you just contact your mobile operator and try to get the QR code. When your mobile operator has sent you the eSIM, it is useful to have another device handy. For example, a laptop, so that when you get the eSIM, you open it up on your computer and just scan it through the camera of your mobile phone. Now, as soon as you have received the eSIM from your mobile operator in a PDF format, now it's time to download and install the eSIM. Now that depends on which phone manufacturer you're using. For example, if you have an iPhone, generally you have to go to settings, then mobile data, then add data plan, and then you just scan the QR code. Once you scan the QR code, the phone will download the eSIM, and then you just have to follow the on-screen instructions to install the SIM. Let's look at another example of a Google Pixel 5 phone. All you have to do is to go to settings, then network and internet, then SIMS, which will take you to the eSIM download page. Now, these were only two examples, but to help you more, let's have a look at this table on the screen. Let's look at the Apple phones, so iPhone SE, iPad Air, iPhone 13, iPhone 12 Pro Max, and iPhone XR. Now, let's have a look at Samsung phones. Next, Google Pixel phones. And finally, let's also look at Huawei P40 Pro phone. Now, if you follow the link in the description of this video, it'll take you to a web page on comsweep.com that'll show you the table that we're looking at. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a very detailed post on this topic, and the link is in the description.